What's up, everybody? Uh, today I'm making some fluid beds for uh, powder coating leg jigs. I kind of I got sucked into doing that. I wanted to make some uh, some weights for a buddy of mine because they're a lot cheaper. I mean, I can make a pyramid for ten cent, where they're two three bucks out in town. But anyway, on this fluid bed, I got the uh, instructions off a guy on YouTube and I'll link his video. I'm not gonna teach you how to do it. I mean, there's plenty of people doing that. I just kind of give them a brief, hey, this is what I'm making, this is what I'm trying. So I got my accordion pump right there. I got my fluid bed and I found these little vials on Amazon. And pretty much simply is you put your your powder in there, turn the valve on, get it dancing around, and you dip your jig head. And I, I will do one when I make some more jig heads. But to kind of show you it works. So inside is a piece of copy paper. So like the guy in the video, um, basically it's two inch PVC product. I bought a four foot piece of pipe. I bought PVC two inch couplers. Now do not make the mistake and buy hub conductors. I made that mistake, but you can actually see one right there. You can tell the difference in them. A hub will not work and I'll explain why. Because you cut your PVC, you cut one at an inch and a half and one at two and a quarter. The, and then you take the test plug, take your primer and your glue, you glue it in. And this is set for a whole day. You take copy paper, and what he did was a thing of icing, put it on top. Trace it out, cut it out. I just took an exacto knife and I did it. You lay it out on there. Try to keep it center. I'm for two weeks. I can't find my tripod for my camera. My daughter may have it. And you just press that down. And you press it all the way down until it hits the ridges. Well, all right, so now the reason why you don't want to use the hub connector is you come, you measure up a half inch from the base of the coupler and you drill a hole for your air vent. Well, with that hub, you grab one. With the hub coupler, you don't have, you only have that much room. So you go from a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch surface area. So just keep in mind, if you build one of these fluid beds, do not get the hub coupler. So yeah, it's pretty much that easy. It's pretty much basically that easy. Cut your PVC pipe to the lengths he said, two different lengths. Take your caps, your test plugs, glue them in place. I let them sit overnight. He actually built one on his video, built it and used it in like a, a 10 minute vi uh, video and put it all together. The valves, he did not give a link on the Amazon for the valves. I'll do that. Um, and just a cheap $5 aquarium pump three dollar hose i bought the combo for 7.99 off amazon and the drill bit in his video he said a three sixteenths i think my valves are just a tad thicker i used 1364 drill bit and drilled a uh drilled my pilot hole for my for my
air valve. So that's just a real quick down and dirty whoop, whoop, what we're doing today. Uh, I got the boat in. Pops and I went out fishing the other day. I got Aspen girl here. Aspen, hey baby. Can you say hey? Can you say hey to video? Can you say hey? So, you know, like I said, it's a mess. Um, I'm cleaning up, organizing, getting stuff out of the house garage. I, we went to Gatlinburg. And I bought some knife display boxes. I made a few a few displays of some uh, lures I had, and I got I got one more big display that I'm going to make uh, with some loose lures. And I just wanted to share if you happen to buy a Berkeley slobber knocker. If you happen to buy a Berkeley slobber knocker, look at it before you bring it home. I unfortunately got mine. I pre-ordered with Tackle Warehouse, and it took them two and a half months before we got them. But check it out. So we got a blade. We got a blade. We got a blade. Oh no, no blade. So. I will be uh, sending Berkeley a call, uh, email, and say, hey, I got a slobber knocker with no blade on it. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of fond of Berkeley. I got all my frit size, big ones, small ones, a couple juniors. And I, you know, I use it all. I, I'm not a, uh, I'm not really brand loyal because nobody pays me to fish yet. I pay, I pay to fish, but I got a couple chatter baits and I got, you know, some stuff I bought at um, yard sales, or, I, you know, I got some day's tackle. If you're here, uh, here in the Piedmont, North, in North Carolina, you know who that is. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff I got from, you know, MTB boxes or Monster Bass. I've done a few videos, and I am a Zoom. I love Zoom. I always have. And uh, actually, Dad and I went fishing the other day. We didn't take make video. But I caught a dozen little bass on this birthday cake and caught three or four on this banana seed. You know, I bought the the birthday cake and the banana for the wife to fish with. She likes using wild colors, so I figured I may make something fun for her. And here's my little saltwater panfish section. I still have this box is full of baits, and this box has got reels, and this box has got baits. To finish out my wall and i got my panfish and saltwater rods and uh i actually bought these boots when i was at the beach last month and man they're awesome i actually did a a quick video on those um buddy and i we got called out in the open ocean in this carolina skiff and i, I showed a video of me pouring water out of the boot so they're not Waterproof once you get in eight inches or deep of water. Under six inches, yeah, they're waterproof. You get it over the top of the boot, eh, no, I'm not waterproof no more. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit like and, like and subscribe. I'm doing my best to try to create some kind of video every week or two. Um, I did pick up a promotional deal with straight up mounts. I haven't ordered my mount yet, but I will be going to two mounts up front the live scope plus so i'm gonna be doing that over the january february time frame so hopefully we'll have some videos on that learning how i use it and uh all that good stuff so anyway check you later thanks for watching hit that like button appreciate it bye